shot down. Ohio voters sending a very clear message about where they stand on legalizing marijuana in their state. Good evening. Voters in Ohio gave a resounding no to legalizing marijuana for both medical and recreational use. And here in Pennsylvania, people have been watching closely to see what our neighbors would do. Amy Wattis is live in Steubenville, Ohio tonight. Amy. Good evening, Susan. And Ohio voters know what they wanted tonight. Marijuana for medical and recreational use will not be coming to the Buckeye State. It was defeated by nearly a two to one margin. Lots of issues were on the ballot in Ohio tonight, but it's the one to legalize marijuana that had everybody talking. I think it'll be good with the taxes and everything going back into the system to help out the, the taxpayers of this area. There's way more things to be worried about than marijuana. That's how I, they, there was no question about it. I was voting for it. But despite what these people think, the results show that the majority of Ohio voters said no to weed. I don't think it would be a good thing for our town. Would it be better for society as a whole or worse? I don't know. Um, it's a tough issue, but I voted no. Since the drug is not legal in Pennsylvania, some people were concerned that out of staters would come to Ohio to get access to pot instead of bringing in industry. I've seen, uh, you go to Denver for business, and I've seen that there's a lot of panhandlers on the street, and I'm just worried about the community. Um, being adversely affected. If the bill would have passed, residents 21 and older would have been allowed to grow four marijuana plants for personal consumption. The referendum would have also limited commercial sale of marijuana to 10 local farms. Because there are more people out there smoking cannabis than what people know. Right now, if the kids want it, they're going to get it anyway, one way or another. Had the issue, issue passed, Ohio would have become the fifth state to legalize recreational marijuana. We're live in Steubenville tonight. Amy Wattis, KDK TV News.